Welcome to our video series on upwind mainsail trim presented by Salesing.com. Today's topic is draft, shape, and position, which is part three of the unit on shaping your sails. In this series, we're presenting a comprehensive review of basic and advanced mainsail trim concepts. We want the series to be useful and understandable for all levels of sailors. Our strategy is to start with small bites and build them into a complete picture of sail trim. We'll use a visual approach and give you questions to think about during the presentations. We'll stay practical, using theory only as needed. People learn in different ways. If you like to learn by reading, you can find an outline version of each video on our website at salesing.com. The series is divided into five units with several parts per unit. Our first unit covers four aspects of mainsail shape. For each topic, we'll discuss the things you should be aware of, why it's important, how to control it, and indications and cues to look for. We'll also start building the bigger picture by addressing interactions, how the various aspects of sail shape affect each other and respond to changes in the wind. Today's topic is draft shape and position. Draft shape is really three related concepts, entry shape, position of the maximum draft, and exit shape. Entry shape refers to whether the leading edge of the sail, that is the luff, is round or flat. This sail has a slightly rounded entry. We'll see some examples on the next slide. Exit shape refers to the trailing edge of the sail, the leech. We say that the leech can be either hooked flat or open. Again, we'll show examples on the next slide. Position of maximum draft refers to the location of the deepest part of the sail. We measure it in percentage of the distance along the cord line. This sail has its maximum draft about 45 percent of the distance from the luff to the leech. We would say that the draft is 45 percent aft. Here are some examples. Note that the differences between sails can be subtle. This sail has the maximum draft at 20%. We would say this sail has draft forward since the target for most conditions is more towards the center of the cord line. The sail also has a rounded entry and a flat leech. The sail on the upper right has the maximum draft at 30%. The sail also has a flatter entry. The difference in entry from the picture on the left is subtle, and we'll il illustrate this more clearly later. The sail also has a flat leech. The sail on the lower left has the maximum draft at 45% aft. This sail also has a slightly rounded entry. The leech is hooked or closed. Hooked and closed mean the same thing. This drawing is exaggerated to show a really hooked leech. With battens in the sail, you probably couldn't achieve this shape. Finally, the sail on the lower right also has the maximum draft at 45% and a slightly rounded entry. The leech is slightly hooked. This is a subtle difference from the sail just above it. You can tell the difference by looking at the angle of the trailing edge of the two sails. These sails all perform differently in various conditions. That's the topic of the rest of this lesson. Draft, shape, and position primarily affect three aspects of a sail's performance. Pointing, overall performance as measured by velocity made good or VMG, and the width of the groove. We'll introduce these three aspects here and discuss them in more detail in separate slides. If you want to point higher, the sail should have a flatter entry with the draft aft. You can also hook the leech for closed for even more pointing. For better overall performance, that is to maximize your VMG, you want a sail with increased lift to drag ratio. This sail will have a slightly rounded entry, a draft further aft, and a flat leech. In certain conditions, you may want a wider groove. By wider groove, we mean that, mean that the sail performs well over a larger range of angles of attack. 
This makes accurate steering less critical. This sail will have a round entry, a flat or open leech, and the draft forward. Let's talk about pointing in more detail. You may want to point higher when you're in flat water and or when you're temporarily trying to hold a lane. Two aspects of sail shape will help you point. First, you want a flat entry and the draft further aft. Look at these two sails. Which sail allows the boat to sail closer to the wind and why? In both of these drawings, the sail is trimmed so that the leading edge is aligned with the apparent wind. This keeps the luff of the sail full. I hope you can see that the flatter entry lets the boat sail closer to the wind. With the round entry, the skipper has to bear off further to get the leading edge aligned with the wind. Next, you want a slightly hooked leech. The sail on the bottom has a slightly hooked leech. Many top sailors will tell you that the leech helps you point. Here's why. First, hooking the leech adds curvature to the sail. This increases the overall lift of the sail. The extra lift affects a phenomenon called upwash. Upwash is the deflection of the air in front of the sail. Upwash is the reason many of the bugs headed towards your windshield actually pass over the car without hitting it. In a sail, upwash creates a slight shift in the apparent wind angle ahead of the sail. This increases the angle of attack and lets you head up a bit. Next, let's discuss overall sail performance. We're going to discuss this in terms of VMG or Velocity Made Good. See our post on VMG if you're unfamiliar with this term. As we've emphasized in this series, improving sail performance is about increasing the lift to drag ratio. In most conditions, the highest lift to drag ratio gives you the best VMG. So what's the best mainsail shape for VMG in light to moderate winds and manageable waves? Here's a suggested shape. First, a slightly rounded entry. Why? Let's look at the lo a drawing of the lift forces on the sail. A rounded entry has curvature up front. This creates lift in the front of the sail which points forward, which helps propel the boat forward. The entry shown here is quite round to illustrate the concept. But remember from the previous slide, if the entry is too round, you won't point as well. Second, you want the maximum draft just forward of the center. This puts gradual curvature throughout the sail, which is more efficient than concentrating the curvature in one place. Most sailmakers design their sails so the draft is 40 to 45 percent aft. If the boat has a jib, the draft is placed further aft to keep the slot open. Finally, you want a flat leech. This reduces the lift generated in the aft portion of the sail, which greatly reduces drag and side force. The third goal you can achieve with sail shape is a wider groove. As we said earlier, a wider groove makes accurate steering less critical. This might be important in rough conditions when you need to steer more and the boat is pitching. A round entry makes the groove wider because the sail is less likely to stall at the luff than a flat entry. It's easy to see this if you think of a simple kitchen experiment. Run water over a flat knife and a curved spoon. As you change the angle of attack, which stalls first? The knife does because water can't make the sharp turn all at once. In the round entry, the spoon, the water sticks, no stalling. Also, for a wider groove, you want a flat or slightly open leech and the draft position forward. This is because you don't want to permanently stall the leech if you bear off too far. Look at this drawing showing the lift on the leeward side of the sail. The longer lines show more lift and therefore reduced air pressure compared to the windward side. If the pressure on the leeward side of the sail near the leech is too different from the pressure on the windward side, huge vortexes will develop stalling the sail. With a flat leech and draft forward, the leeward side pressure increases gradually for a smoother transition at the leech. 
Controlling draft position and shape is pretty simple. You only have a few controls to work with. First, bending the mast with the main sheet or vang moves the draft position aft. This is simply because it pulls out some of the luff curve, making the front of the sail flatter. Second, the Cunningham moves the draft forward, simply by tensioning the luff of the sail. Watch the draft move forward and the wrinkles disappear as the Cunningham is tensioned in this sea scow. By moving the draft forward, the Cunningham also flattens or opens the leech. In general, moving the draft forward on any sail flattens the leech. This primarily applies to the upper leech and is more pronounced in boats with a large sail area, area near the top, such as a sea scow. So, we use Cunningham to compensate for mast bend. As we bend the mast with main sheet tensioner vang, the draft moves aft. We compensate by adding Cunningham tension to return this draft to its desired position, usually 40 to 45 percent. This also opens the upper leech, which depowers the top of the sail. Finally, we control the exit shape of the leech with leech tension using the main sheet or vang. More tension hooks the leech or flattens it. We have three primary indications for draft shape. First is just by looking at the sail. The sail shown has draft forward, a flat leech, and a slightly rounded entry. The draft stripes make it easier to see this. Pay special attention to the batten at the top of the sail. If the leech is flat, the top batten will be roughly parallel to the boom. If you're having trouble pointing, it may be because you're not trimming hard enough to get the upper leech flat or slightly, slightly hooked to windward. Second, we can look at the leeward side telltales near the luff of the sail. Let's suppose these leeward telltales are stalling. If you're sheeted in and feel like you're in the groove, it might be that the sail's entry is too flat. Try to make the entry rounder, perhaps with Cunningham, or by easing the outhaul. Stalling might also be due to the inevitable separation bubble behind the mast. Finally, you can look at the leech telltales. In heavy air, they will tend to flow almost all the time, but in light to medium air, there are useful indicators. If the leech is too hooked, the leech telltales will be permanently stalled and you should ease the main sheet. In light to medium air and flat water, once you're up to speed, stalling about 50% of the time is optimal. The telltales stall because even with the leech only slightly hooked, airflow flip-flops around the leech intermittently to equalize pressure. For temporary pointing, you can hook the leech until they stall about 70 to 80 percent of the time. Finally, let's preview some of the interactions and challenges associated with draft shape and position. We'll discuss more of these interactions in future parts of the series. First, realize that sail design has a lot to do with how you use the controls. As an example, one sailmaker told me that his sails are designed with a lot of luff curve. Therefore, with a straight mast, the entry shape is round. In order, in order to point well in light air, he bends the mast slightly with vang to make the entry a little flatter. Next, let's talk about response to gusts. When a gust hits, you must depower the sail so the boat doesn't heal up. In a sharp gust, the quickest way to depower is to ease the main sheet quickly. This lets the leech open. Finally, let's talk about older sails. When I was starting out, I was sailing next to a more experienced sailor and not keeping up. He looked at my old sail and had me try pulling on some Cunningham. I was immediately faster. Only later did I learn why. As sails get used, the cloth stretches, especially along a direction 45 degrees to the weave of the cloth. This is called bias stretch. In simple terms, if the sail is loaded along the bias, it will stretch more in that direction. In many cuts of sails, this makes the aft portion of the sail fuller, also re resulting in a hooked leech. Thus, using the Cunningham can help older sails perform better. We hope you've taken away at least a few new insights from this discussion. 
Let's use the summary to highlight the key concepts. First, you can shape your sail to achieve different goals. For pointing, you want a flat entry with draft aft and a hooked leech. For best overall performance, you want the draft 40 to 45 percent aft, a slightly rounded entry, and a flat leech. And for a wider groove, you want a round entry with draft forward and a flat or open leech. And of course, the key controls to modify the shape are mast bend, Cunningham, and le leech tension. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our content, please subscribe. Also, visit our website at salesing.com for much more content.